Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and this is the hardware tour of the Motorola Bravo MB520. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll probably notice is a rather large screen in proportion to the bezel, and this is a 3.7 inch LCD TFT display with a glass coated capacitive multi-touch input. So the screen resolution is FWVGA, that's 480 pixels across by 854 pixels in height. The dimensions of the device are 63 millimeters in width, 109.5 millimeters in height, and 13.3 millimeters in depth. So a rather small Android 2.1 device here. Uh, it feels really great in hand. Uh, I wish you could feel it yourself. We also have this rubber coating on the back and sides to help prevent slipping out of your hand. So on the top we have an LED notification that you can see right here. It's green. We also have the light and proximity sensors. We have the speaker and a Motorola emblem. On the bottom we have these three capacitive buttons. We're seeing that a lot of newer devices are doing away with the search button, which I guess makes sense because I personally never used it. I don't know about you. We also have a microphone on the bottom. On the top of the device we have these power on and standby button. We have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that also doubles as an antenna when you plug in a set of headphones. On this side of the device we have the micro USB sync charging port. On the bottom we don't really have anything except for that microphone right there. On this side we have our volume rocker and on the back we have this rubberized coating along with our speaker. It almost looks, or, or I guess I should say speaker phone speaker or uh, media speaker, it almost looks like a fingernail tab to help get the battery cover off, but the battery cover slides up and I'll show you that in just a second. We also have a three megapixel camera with, that's capable of doing CIF resolution video. So that's a very low resolution uh, video camera. And we have this Moto Blur emblem on the back and this device is running Moto Blur 1.5. So we can just pop this off, a plastic battery cover by the way, on, on, and the battery is a 1540 milliamp hour battery. It's capable of around 400 minutes of talk time and I think around 280 hours of standby time. Something insane, that's like six and a half hours of talk time. So a uh, big battery, you can take this off here. We have our SIM card slot, I have a micro SIM in there right now because I was using uh, my iPhone 4 with this uh, SIM card. And we also have a 2 gigabyte micro SD card that comes with it. All you have to do is pull this up and slide it out to uh, change it out. It's capable of up to 32 gigabytes of storage, so uh, that's a great thing to have. The processor of this Motorola Bravo is an 800 megahertz with 2 gigabytes of ROM and 512 megabytes of RAM. We also have assisted GPS, a digital compass, and all the other great stuff that Android uh, 2.1 devices have become standard in incorporating into the uh, phone itself. So the radios that are included with the device is a quad band GSM chip along with UMTS 850 and 1900. For Wi-Fi we have BG and N and also Bluetooth 2.1. This device does have an FM radio like I mentioned before and I'll show you that in the software tour coming up next. And in case you miss it, you can check out this link right about here to go to the unboxing. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. We like to hear what you're saying. And thanks for watching.